The Jets got to figure out their offensive line if they want to have any success in 2024. Joe Douglas knows free agency is going to be a little thin at the tackle position. Well, it looks like he's got a favorite at the number 10 overall pick. If you're as hyped up on the NFL draft as I am, I've got something that might be of interest to you. The Talking Jets panel is coming back for our fifth year in a row. We live stream day one, day two, and day three of the NFL draft. But day one this year, we are doing our first in-person draft party. I'm so pumped for this. We're going to have a fan cam going around. We're going to get reactions for everyone. And we're going to be pushing out via live stream. So if you're not available to come out to uh, hang out with us. Three hour open bar. Oh, I'm excited for this. <laughs> this is going to be a good time. Myself, O'Leary and Green Bean going to be uh, chopping it up with a bunch of people down in Farmingdale, the main event. If you guys want to check it out, talkingjets.com wall tickets are available. If you're a member of the channel, check your uh, member community post. There is a promo code for you guys. Get a little bit of a discount as well. Uh, but let's hop into our video of today. And that is Joe Douglas eyeing Talise Fuaga. I am really excited about this one. We've talked about Fuaga in the past, but let's pull up the tweet. Let's talk about it. Rich Samini says, apple of his eye, Jets GM Joe Douglas has an affinity for Oregon State offensive tackle Talisa Fuaga, according to Buzz in scouting circles, has been eyeing him for months, I'm told. Fuaga is attending the Senior Bowl this week. So you guys know the Senior Bowl. We've been talking about it. We got two correspondents, Jeremy and Dom C down at the Senior Bowl for the Talking Jets channel. So if you guys want to check out some of the stuff, we actually have an exclusive interview with Talisa Fuaga over on the Talking Jets channel. So if you want to check that out, make sure you go ahead over there. But let's hop into Talisa Fuaga and who he actually is. He is the right tackle from Oregon State. He has over 1,500 snaps at right tackle. Now, he is purely a right tackle. He's not played any snaps on the left-hand side. I'm curious to see if Ulbrich, who's coaching the Senior Bowl this week, is going to try him out on the left-hand side at all. But I think for right now, we're going to have to pencil him in as far as a right tackle. He's six foot six, 334 pounds. This is a big human being. And he is categorized in his run blocking as a violent son of a batch of cookies. If you watch him, he will end you. <laughs> he will absolutely pile drive like anyone into the ground. You're talking pancakes. This guy's got them all day. Call him Denny's. That's what's going on. Playing at the Senior Bowl, like I said, this is a very important thing for Talisa Fuaga. He is seen as arguably the third or fourth possibly fifth tackle, depending on how you rank some of these top offensive tackles here. But it's important for the New York Jets because he's playing at the Senior Bowl. He had the 83rd strength of schedule this past year. That was one of the weaker strengths of schedule for the top offensive tackles that we've seen. And he's only had 12 career penalties. So this week, I'm looking at Talisa Fuaga and I'm saying, okay, how does this dude stack up against the rest of the cream of the cop, cream of the crop of the Senior Bowl? He put uh, some of the top edge rushers on their backs in day one of the Senior Bowl, so I'm really, really looking forward to this. As far as big boards, the, you can see some of the ones that I've used, Pro Football Focus, NBC Sports, Pro Football Network, CBS Sports, and NFL Draft Buzz, 11, 14, 15, 22, and 27. So you could see where this guy could start to creep up draft boards. And according to day one of the Senior Bowl, this guy has been absolutely dominant. He has been talked about nonstop by all the, 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 the little scouts that are down there and everything. He has been a hot name uh, on the offensive line side of things. I really like Fuaga a lot. I had him in my top five players that I think the Jets could take at number 10 overall. So to hear Joe Douglas talking about, uh, or maybe not talk about, but rumors circulating that he could be, you know, sold <laughs> on Talisa Fuaga. This is an interesting situation for me. So right tackle, you're not getting your left tackle in the draft, which means you're either bumping AVT out to left tackle, or you're bringing in some kind of maybe a veteran presence or another left tackle option. In my opinion, the way I would like to handle free agency on the tackle side of things is to get a vet left tackle, someone like a Tyron Smith, a David Bakhtiari, someone in that realm. You know, maybe there's some other players out there that I'm just missing right now. But if you can get one of those players, I've heard the Jets really like Carter Warren in the background. So if you can groom him behind an older offensive lineman, then I think you can maybe pencil him in for 2025 and beyond if he develops uh, in the way you want him to. And then you don't have to move AVT out of the guard position. I'd like to keep AVT at either left guard or right guard, one of those two positions. But I love Fuaga on the right-hand side. We are not going to make the same mistake that we made with Mekhi Becton where you say, oh, man, we got to get the left tackle because the left tackle is so important. And then you forget about the right tackle. Right tackle is just as important. The edge rusher could come off either side. I shouldn't say just as important. It's close to just as important. Obviously, you got the blind side with the left, uh, you know, the left-hand side 
right-hand side, the quarterback can at least see the pressure coming. But either way, you got to protect the quarterback, and I think this is a 100% lockdown type pick. I would be totally pumped on this move. Now, as far as Joe Douglas liking him and, like, is that a good thing? <laughs> We're kind of in this weird 50-50 state with Joe Douglas. Mekhi Becton did not work out. Was it the injuries that have caused the poor play right now, and he's just never going to be the same that we saw his rookie year? Obviously, AVT's been getting dinged up the last two years with the season-ending injuries with the triceps and the Achilles, and then you have Tittman, who we drafted last year, so you feel like you might have two pieces there with AVT and Tittman, but outside of that, Lakin Tomlinson's kind of been a dud. Max Mitchell's sort of been, ah, you know, backup role. Carter Warren was taken as a developmental tackle last year. Um, oh, Cam, was Cam Clark? Was the tackle we took his first year in the, in the draft, and he wound up not even playing a snap for the Jets. He's now on our coaching staff. So, look, there's a lot of things to not like about how we've handled the offensive line, but it ain't, ain't for a lack of trying. So I'm looking forward to this. I would 100% go all in on Talisa Fuaga if they want to make that selection at number 10 overall. Now, I'll be honest, I am hoping that there's going to be a left tackle there, one of Alt or Fashanu maybe sliding down the board. In that case, I would take one of those two over Fashanu or over uh, Fuaga. Fuwag is categorized as maybe being a little bit weaker in the pass blocking side of things, which I understand the Jets want to run, but this is a passing league and Aaron Rodgers needs to be upright. I'd much rather like figure out the run blocking side of things and know that our guy can keep our star quarterback upright than um, maybe be a little concerned about it. I don't think pass blocking is going to be a big concern for Fuwag at the next level, but uh We'll have to wait and see. Guys, I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you like that Joe Douglas is a fan of Fuwaga? Do you think we are tipping our hand right now? Or do you think maybe this is all a smokescreen early on in draft season to get someone to trade in front of us to maybe take a player that we aren't even, uh, you know, looking at? Push some other players down the board. Maybe we're looking at a weapon and getting someone to trade in front of us is all part of the grand scheme. Eh? Got some 4D chess you got going on. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, go Jets. J -E -T -S -J -E